I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have uh, I wanted to bring you back to this parliament decision there that was uh, posted on Israel National News uh, because of the fact that after I did the news, I actually realized that this was prophecy being fulfilled right before our eyes. And so I didn't get a chance other than in the comment section to share with you a paraphrased version of the quote from Psalm 83. And so it's important that you realize, not only this, but there are several other stories I want to cover with you real quick, but the European Parliament and the decision that was made just yesterday is prophecy actually being fulfilled. Now, let me real quick recap a little bit of what it says here on Israel National News and the article here, and I thought I'd got this up, by the way, on Israeli News Live uh, Facebook page, but I did not, so I will put it in there today. It says the European Parliament which is, the, they call it the EP, passed a resolution on the EU's role in the Middle East peace process Thursday. That was yesterday now, but rejected an amendment calling for an Israeli-Palestinian negotiations to be based on a two-state principle. Okay, the amendment was rejected. 421 of the parliament members to 134 and 59 abstained in this and what critics see as an expression of the EP's reluctance to accept Israel's very right to exist. That's exactly what it's saying. They're not, they're not willing to do a negotiation based on a, even a two-state solution. This is to basically to eradicate the Jewish people from the face of the earth. No wonder why then that we see such a flood of refugees all over Europe and even the United States now from the Syrian, uh, uh, the, the issue from the Syrian crisis there. There are literally tens of thousands and thousands of refugees flooding, not into the other Arabic states, not into Iran, not into Saudi Arabia, but yet where? Into Europe and now the United States. They're boating them in by the, by the, by the tens of thousands of them. And, and what's really sad, even in Greece, I've seen some footage the other day where as soon as they come off this huge ship, they begin to riot and fight and clash with the local people there. This is, and Germany, by the way, has said that they will take in 500,000 refugees per, what? Per day. I mean, this is insane. What is it? It's to annihilate both Jews and Christians alike. Anyone that doesn't agree with the Vatican plan, Believe me, it seems that the Vatican has their own uh, final solution plan for those that don't agree with their agenda, nor go along with uh, the plan with Israel. Now, let me show you the prophecy that was being fulfilled by the European Parliament here and rejecting the idea of doing the negotiations based on two states there. In Psalm 83, let me quote to you here. This is from the King James Version here, beginning in verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Okay, so the council, and this is what they're doing. They're in council chambers debating over whether or not a state of Israel is going to exist or not. They've also consulted about the hidden ones, knowing the two witnesses are coming, and what are they going to do about that when they come? So they've been raising up their false prophet, the Antichrist himself, Pope Francis, to be able to do this very thing. In fact, by the way, he's already prophesying of new events to come, something I've got to look in further to for you, but I will be looking into that. Uh, they, have, they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. That's Israel. What did the European Parliament do? They rejected to do the negotiations based on a two-state principle. They, have, they are cutting them off from being a nation. See, they said that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate 
against thee. And that's exactly what we're seeing. The world is confederate. They have made counsel of this. Psalm 83, I told you guys many times, Psalm 83 is not just a war, but yet we can see some type of conflict comes up. We see the Catholic Church because it says it, it is Esau. See, Esau and his tents, which are the Catholic Church and their churches, the churches that are joining with the Catholic Church, have come up against Israel. And of course, the church is controlling the state and getting them to, to be involved in this. And then the Arab nations, they're all coming against Israel to make the name of Israel to be no longer in remembrance. But God will intervene. At the first, it does not appear that he will intervene, but he does intervene. Now, let me also, real quick, I want to share with you as well, the Sanhedrin Council did their, their, their uh, they did the court against the 10, uh, 10 different governments and peoples of the, of the world that have been trying to divide the land of Israel, trying to take the land of Israel from the Jewish people, and they have found Pope Francis and Barack Obama guilty as charged. Uh, I think it is very historical that this happened. Uh, I cannot say, you know, I, I can't say that I quote unquote am for the Sanhedrin, but let me just say this in respect to that though. It's interesting that they put them on trial against uh, the crimes against Israel and against humanity, against the laws of God that have been broken down through the ages, even including uh, uh, abortion, everything else. They put them on trial for these things and found them guilty, especially in the, in the, in the, in the latter part here, uh, speaking that Israel uh, their, their right to exist there. Also, the Europe, uh, European Parliament has decided to label the, uh, the Golan and Judea and Sumerian products there uh, so that people can boycott Israel. Uh, things are just happening so rapidly. As well, another very shocking news that has happened here, the European powers urge the U.S. to accept the Iran deal. This is uh, this is actually the European powers urge the U.S. to accept the Iran deal is on Israel National News. It says the leaders of Britain, France, and Germany jumped into the, to the fierce political debate in Washington over the Iran nuclear deal Thursday in an effort to convince U.S. lawmakers not to derail the agreement. There's heavy pressure under, uh, they're all under pressure under the Vatican to make sure this goes through. Uh, we know that the Vatican has already declared uh, the Palestinian state. Pope Francis is coming to the United States. You, you have invited the Antichrist to your own country. And unfortunately, many of the Senate members, instead of opposing his, his coming, even those that are against the Iran deal, have embraced him and have made such a beautiful inauguration for him, greater than the President of the United States in accepting this man into your country. You forget that the Bible says that he will cry peace and safety and there is no peace. Okay, peace, peace, and there is no peace, but it's only going to be a genocide of those that truly believe. Now, many Christians that are so-called Christians that are in these churches are going to go along with what he says, as you see with um, different, uh, like Rick Warren and, and other well-known mainstream uh, uh, religious leaders here that are getting the people involved in this and getting them to join back with the Mother Catholic Church. Revelation clearly says this would happen, and it is a major danger. Uh, we had two sisters that have sent me private messages recently, and I haven't had a chance to talk to them privately about it. Both independent, not knowing the other there, had visions. I'm not talking about dreams. Visions that Pope Francis is indeed the Antichrist. And as I've taught you very many times before, anti is not so much against or opposed, but in the, in the Greek language, anti means that he is in place of. He is a substitute for who? The Christ, the Mashiach. See, so he is a substitute, and it's exactly what he's claiming to be, is to be that very man there. I'm Stephen Ben-Noon with Israeli News Live. Shalom. And uh, again, prophetic segment. God bless you and be safe, and be watchful in thinking. And by the way, if you stand for this news broadcast, these prophetic insights support this ministry. Because believe me, we're not going to be playing church any longer. Many of you, many of you have written me and said, Steve, we want to know more. If that's really what you want, leave me a comment as well, because I'm, I'm really tired of playing church. I want to make sure people know what the truth is and nothing but the truth, because this is what we must know. This is what the bride has to know. This is why God is sending his two witnesses, is to get a... Remember, if the church was ready for a rapture, do you think that you would go in the case you are now with all these thousands of de denominational views and ideas? There's no way possible. It'll take the two witnesses to get the people in 
one mind and one accord to present your guys to you a bride that is ready and believes that God is not some vicious king. I'm Stephen Benoit, and you're the Israeli 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 Israeli